Hey, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to Spitfire. Uh, the title of this message is The Roar of the Lion Shall Be Heard. And I heard this, um, I heard this February 29th, 2024. Um, at 9 21 p.m lord god i'm just we're just going to pray for a moment lord god i just thank you and invite you here that your words would be heard that clarity will come to your people Lord, i just ask for your presence i thank you for your presence to envelop your people i thank you lord that you would speak and 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 be heard by your your people by your children lord i just thank you that the enemy in their lives is being rebuked right now Hallelujah for what you have placed on them, that they'll be able to accomplish the task at hand. So, Lord, I just thank you right now for all that you've done. I just speak courageous courage to the ecclesia right now in every area that you find yourself having to stand in, whether it be super large or, or small. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's because your dog needs to get a surgery. Listen, God loves you so much, and he cares about every single thing that you care about. So Lord God, I just touch and agree with their prayers. I touch and agree with their prayers. I come into agreement with them. You know, the Bible says where two or three are gathered in his name, he is in the midst. So I'm touching and agreeing with you. If you don't have someone to touch and agree with you, I'm touching and agreeing with you right now in accordance with the word of the Lord. So Lord, we just thank you. Hallelujah. We just repent for anything that we've done in our lives. See, repentance is a gift. It is a gift to repent. Um, we get to repent, hallelujah, because repentance actually helps to set us free because we get to cancel the agreements that we had with the enemy. So, Lord God, we just thank you for that, hallelujah. Um, <clears throat> announcements. Um, tomorrow during service, uh, House on Fire service, we are going to be doing a soak Sunday where we're going to soak in the Lord and just... And just get face to face with him and allow him to move and minister to each person individually. So if that's something that you want to be a part of, just reach out and let us know. You can find us on Facebook or Instagram. You can always message here down below on YouTube. Uh, Sunday service is 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, so uh, just drop us a message or you can email us. All the information will be linked down below in the description box. All right. So. Let's get into this word. <clears throat> it's not super long, but it is very powerful. It says, I first heard, just looking at what I have my water around here. <clears throat> I know. Okay, that's okay. Thank you, Lauren. So <clears throat> I first heard that some will hear thunder. That was the very first thing that I heard. Some will hear thunder. Some will hear thunder, you know. And I, some will hear thunder. And then I began to see, go into a vision and I was seeing a, you know, fists, more than one, you know, pounding down on, on the table of injustice, you know, hitting it so hard. And I began to hear someone screaming, let me out, let me out. And then the Lord began to speak. He said, uh, you know, after I was hearing, let me out, let me out. The Lord began to say, I hear the spirit of justice yelling from behind the cages of man, and she shall be released in great quantity. For I, the Lord, this day am setting the captives free, says the Lord, and my justice shall ring out and run forth into every capital of the nations, and I shall unseat the haunty, and I shall break up the unrest. And I shall put a stop and an end to cruelty in my land for a season. And you shall know that I, the Lord, your God, has fought for you. For I say the overwhelming earthly odds were stacked not in your favor. Oh, but the stacking of my odds are in, in your favor will shoot forth with an alarming sound. Listen for my sound, says the Lord, for only those who care to hear me shall hear me, and those whose hearts are far away from me shall hear thunder. But my voice shall go forth in this journey, and the roar of the lion shall be heard this day, says the Lord. Um. So I, that, I heard that 
on the 29th and the verse of the Lord uh, verses how the Lord is sent me to um, <clears throat> is a uh, John chapter 12 verses 28 through 30. And it says, and Jesus is speaking, he says, and I'm going to read it from the Amplified. <clears throat> Actually, I just want to give you a quick, Jesus is talking about, he's, this is the chapter where Jesus is foretelling his death, what's going to happen. So just is again, that foretelling, um, and uh, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit talked to me and I was going to say that, but I'll wait until I read this. So uh, verse 28 says, rather, I will say, Father, glorify, honor, extol your name. Then a voice came from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd of people who stood nearby, Jesus, who stood nearby and heard the voice said that it had just thundered. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. And Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, your sake and not mine. So listening to, and that was John chapter 12, verse 28 through 30. And, and what he's saying is, as Jesus began speaking, a voice came from heaven. And some, they heard a thunder. They did not hear but they didn't hear the voice of the Lord. They did not hear it. And then others heard it and they presume, uh, you know, assume that this is an angel. Angel has spoken to him. Like some people actually heard the words and then other people heard a thunder. And that go, going back to that word, the prophetic word he gave, uh, he said, listen for my sound, says the Lord, for only those who care to hear me shall hear me. And those whose hearts are far away from me shall hear thunder, but my voice, my voice shall go forth in this journey and the roar of the lion shall be heard this day, says the Lord. So, and then actually that's funny because this was right before the first. And the, I know we have the saying that March comes in like a lion, goes out like a lamb. My glasses are just, oh, this is because... <laughs> It's because the baby likes to stretch them. They don't actually fit on my face anymore. Um, he's just a baby. But anyway, and he's not the only one that's messed with it. But um, hallelujah, Lord. But his voice is going to go forth. And he's, so he's saying, if you, thank you, Holy Spirit. If you can't just say that I care to hear God's voice, but at the same time, you're not doing anything to cultivate your spiritual ears to hear you know if you're not and cultivating your spiritual ears to hear doesn't mean listening to a bunch of prophetic messages that's that's not it cultivating your your spiritual ears to hear is going to come from you actually putting in the the time and the and and the effort to draw near to god and not just assume that i'm already near to him so I don't need to draw near to him anymore. I, I spend my time with him in the morning. I have like a 10 minute thing and, and then I pray on my lunch break. And then I pray before I go to bed and I also read my Bible and I have a, I have two devotionals and I journal, you know, while all that, those works can be considered, you know, good or religious, but that's not the personal relationship that you have with the Lord. Um, like personal relationship. I, a lot of people think they have a personal relationship, but they don't because they don't actually change their lives. Their lives are not, they don't change their lives. They're not living repentant lives and et cetera, but they say that they love Jesus. And, and I'm not coming for anybody. Listen, this is just pure scripture. Scripture, Jesus specifically said, if you say you love me, then you need to do all the things that I'm asking you to do. That includes crucifying your flesh. If you don't live a crucified life and you don't live, cru you know, putting your flesh to death daily, like he said, then we can't sit here and say that we love him. It's, it's just and that's Jesus's words. So people can get mad at Jesus. And I highly advise you not to. I just advise you to, to read the word of God and then adhere to it. Um, but the second thing that I, that Holy Spirit was telling me was that. Let's see. Let me. 
was let's see acts let me try this because there's another another uh verse thank you holy spirit okay so on the road to damascus damascus I'm going to read this here because it's it's another confirmation to this word that Holy Spirit was just was speaking to me. And I was going to tell earlier and then I was like, I'll just wait and do this first. It's Acts chapter 22. There's that number 22 and it's verse six through nine. And it says, but at, but as I was on my way approaching Damascus about noontime, a great blaze of light suddenly flashed from the heavens and shone around me. And I fell to the ground and I heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul. Why are you persecuting me? And I replied, who are you, Lord? And he said to me, I am Jesus, the Nazarene, whom you are persecuting. And then verse nine, now those who were with me saw the light, but did not understand the voice of the, of the one who was speaking to me. Um, now, I love that because, <clears throat> and then if we go back, so this is him giving the, ooh, this is him giving the account. And also, <laughs> but also if you go back to Acts chapter 9, verses, verse 4 through, through 8, he says, he talks about the light shined, okay? He says, and then he fell to the ground and heard a voice from heaven saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting, persecuting and oppressing me? And Saul said, who are you, Lord? And he answered, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him were terrified and stood speechless, um, <clears throat> hearing a voice, but seeing no one. Saul got up from the ground, but then he could not see from his eyes. So even here, you know, it says them hearing and seeing nothing. And then later it says they, they couldn't even understand it. So just because they heard it doesn't mean that they knew what, what was, what was being said. And that's, that's where God's saying you, you, by the, the roar of the lion is going to be heard, but only those who care to hear what he's saying is going to is going to be able to articulate and understand what he's saying. And I'm just going to go back one more time to the word, the prophetic word he gave, and then we'll close. Unless Holy Spirit says anything else, Jesus has anything else to say. It says, listen for my sound, says the Lord, for only those who care to hear it shall hear me. And those whose hearts are far away from me shall hear thunder, but my voice shall go forth in this journey. And the roar of the lion shall be heard this day, says the Lord. He doesn't say that you won't be able to hear anything, but I would love, I would not want to just hear some noise and not actually hear and understand that what God's saying to me. So again, that's something to really think about um, and pray about and really just seek the Lord um, for yourself on this. So, um, that is all I have. So praise God, Lord, we just thank you. We give you praise and honor and glory. Remember to be obedient to the Lord, um, and reach out to us. If you would like to get connected, reach out to us. All right. Shalom and have a wonderful rest of your day.